next story is another reason of why we are Philly proud. The next time you're in Mayfair, take a look around. Yeah, because there is new street art lining Frankfurt Avenue, which is the main business corridor. Howard Monroe went to Mayfair to check it out for himself, and they are really neat. Howard, good morning. Good morning, to you. They are really neat. The artist behind the artwork is world-renowned sculpture artist Seward Johnson. He's also the founder of the Grounds for Sculpture in Hamilton, New Jersey. But now you can see his work popping up in Mayfair. The statues have been all over the world, but they've never been in the city of Philadelphia. I said, let's bring them in. Let's bring them to Mayfair. Frankfurt Avenue in Mayfair is the latest stop for Seward Johnson's sculpture art. Nine different statues dot the main business corridor from Princeton Avenue outside of Stein's Florist up to Bly Avenue outside of Mayfair Diner. Residents, you know, they deserve a nice place to live and to hang out. Donnie Smith is the executive director of the Mayfair Improvement District. The sculptures are on loan from the Seward Johnson Atelier. In his lifetime, Johnson created hundreds of sculptures. The Atelier says that he was fascinated by ordinary life. And encapsulated it in his art. For instance, ambassador of the streets is a woman walking her dog. Catching up is a man reading a newspaper, and holier than thou is a man throwing away trash. Smith says for this installation, he wanted the art to hit home for people who live here. You guys want to have a good mix based on the neighborhood that we're in. Yes, uh, I wanted to bring in as many pieces as I could to represent as many different people as I could. This is, you know, an Art Deco type neighborhood, right? So they're gonna they're gonna connect with things like Rosie the Riveter and with embracing peace with the Sailor's Kiss. Now these statues, they are life size. For reference, I'm six foot three, and then we have Marilyn Monroe here. Donnie says that his hope is that when folks see them, they will interact with them and even learn about the characters themselves. He would want people to interact with them. You know, that was that was part of his thing. So you know, when people are up there hugging him, that's fine. He's cool with it. Come to Mayfair, check it out. And you can check out these sculptures through mid September. Donnie says his hope is that it will bring happiness to the people who live in Mayfair and also attract some new visitors. Send it back to you guys. I just love this. I have a feeling it's going to be a popular spot, a nice Instagrammable spot. But Absolutely. Those are really cool yep. and life size too. Howard, thank you so much.